holes around an enemy defense and work my way around an area. The 1991 Gulf War witnessed the development of new tactics for helicopter warfare. One strategy implemented in the Gulf was the use of a combination of attack helicopters and scout helicopters. The smaller scout helicopters formed the eyes and ears of the team, the Apache, the muscle. The scouts look out for enemy missile teams, while the Apache crew concentrated on targeting enemy positions. The scouts, armed with an air-to-air -air version of the Stinger missile, could also protect the attack helicopter unit from enemy helicopter attack. Apaches proved their value in several key Gulf battles, demonstrating the impact that a small force of helicopters could have in land war. Missile copters preceding the main tank attacks were able to break up Iraqi formations. Under a ceaseless barrage of deadly Hellfire missiles, the Iraqi armor units disintegrated. In 2002, Apaches were an essential element in helping to rid Afghanistan of Al-Qaeda and Taliban forces. The latest version of the Apache is the AH-64D Longbow Apache. Its name stems from the bulbous sensor mounted on top of the rotor assembly, which contains a millimeter wave radar. It's capable of scanning 360 degrees for threats in the air and 270 degrees for ground threats. Costing over $3 million, only one in three Longbow Apaches need to carry the expensive dome as the information from the sensors is shared among the battalion. Each Longbow Apache pilot receives data on digital multifunction displays, or MFDs. This radar expands the all-weather capabilities of Apache, even beyond FLIR sensors. It also permits the use of the latest generation of fire-and-forget Hellfire missiles. Such Hellfires do not need laser designation, but home in on the target using an onboard sensor. This combination of advanced technology and novel tactics has made the Apache attack helicopter one of the most potent weapons in modern land warfare. The Longbow flew its first mission in Operation Iraqi Freedom in early 2003 and has since logged thousands of combat hours in support of Allied troops.